Well, this morning we are talking about the only total lunar eclipse of the year. This is video from Greece where they did not get to see the entire eclipse. Having uh, video and photos from around the world and Mike Meback is live in our KTVU newsroom says the Bay Area was the right place to see it all. Oh, if yeah. you got up with us, Mike. <laughs> exactly. And you know what? It's always a great sight to see. And I was able to witness, you know, most of it on my drive into work here, especially on Interstate 80 in Berkeley looking west. Hey, nothing like an eclipse right over downtown San Francisco. This one, you could say it was a special one, a super moon and total lunar eclipse combined to put on a big show for those of us out west. The East Coast did not see this. Uh, the beautiful display in the sky happens when the moon lines up closer than normal to Earth combined with a total lunar eclipse. Now that's created when Earth blocks the sun's rays from directly hitting the moon and creates that shadow with the light filtering through the Earth's atmosphere. Astronomers at Chabot Space and Science Center in the Oakland Hills watched it this morning and they were also getting a lot of comments from astronomy fans watching online right there with them. So I have a comment. If someone was sitting on the moon right now, what would they, they see? Would be, they would be witnessing a fantastic solar eclipse. That's exactly right. They would be seeing a really cool, long solar eclipse. Yes, they would, because another good vantage point for this eclipse is the International Space Station. It has the same angle on the moon as we do, but has a lot less light to interfere with the outline of the moon as the shadow crosses. I mentioned people on the East Coast did not see this, and that's because the lunar eclipse occurs in the Earth's shadow. Only those on the night side of the planet, 4.15 a.m. our time, so we were able to experience it. Therefore, Europe and the East Coast missed out. Dave and Pam, the next total lunar eclipse set for May of next year. All right, Mike, thank you. He brought us up to date and he saw it.